Hey guys, welcome back. It's Missy. And today we're gonna be talking about some self-love habits that you need to help you on your self-love journey. So I made a video on self-love, which I'll leave at the top, where I go more in depth about what self-love is and what it looks like. So things like your self-talk, not comparing yourself, and healthy boundaries. So that I would define as like more of the mental state of how to love yourself. But today we're gonna talk about um, habits that you can create to help you have more self-love. The whole point of self-love is that you want to put care into yourself because you matter and you're important. So that's why you want to practice some of these habits. Because your mental state and what you're telling yourself is only the half of it. The other half is actions. That is what helps us form different beliefs. So when you're saying things just to say it, and you're not acting on it, then you're not really forming that belief. And it's because you're not really feeling it and you're not practicing it. So you have to practice what you preach. So one of the first things is practicing gratitude. And that one is super important because one, it could set the tone of the day. And two, it's something that helps with a lot of negative thoughts. It's easy for humans to naturally just think of what they don't have. And so then it keeps us in a place of comparing where with gratitude it's thinking about what you do have and it brings happiness because you're actually able to be in the moment and appreciate what's around you and also when you express gratitude to others it helps build stronger better relationships because you're acknowledging that person and you're showing them what they mean to you their value to you so the way that you can show gratitude is compliment someone or think about the things that you are grateful for that you have in your life even if it's simple as water and if you have a hard time just naturally being someone that is appreciative of things or if you have someone that has a hard time practicing gratitude imagine not having those things imagine what it's like to not have water imagine what it's like to not have a place to live your opinion will change real quick and you will be appreciative that you actually have that and as you can see a gratitude doesn't have to be with these grandiose things it could be even the small things that you have 10 toes and you can appreciate the things that you have within yourself thinking about your value and also thinking about the things that you appreciate of others and sharing it with them i think there was actually a video on youtube where they had these people call up people that they love and they express their gratitude and the uh, person on the phone felt a lot of love and gratitude and then the uh, person that was sharing it felt really good so it's a win-win and gratitude also is something that helps shame because shame is actually feeling like you're a bad person or that your behavior is bad but when you practice gratitude and you appreciate yourself and you appreciate things you won't experience that shame because you're not thinking you're overall this terrible person. The next one that's really important is sleep. And sleep is something that a lot of people ignore or they run on coffee or they only get a few hours of sleep because they're always on the go. But did you know that you could go longer without food than you could without sleep? You're more likely to die with less sleep than you are without food. And the reason that is is because when you sleep, it releases toxins from your body so when you don't sleep you have all those toxins and when you don't sleep it triggers anxiety or it triggers more negative thoughts because naturally we as humans we naturally think more negative and so it takes a lot of effort to deal with these negative thoughts or to try to think more positively so you'll have less energy to be able to do that and you'll most likely have more negative emotional reactions. So if you have a narcissist in your life and you're not sleeping, it'll be really hard to deal with them because you're gonna be more likely to emotionally react. You don't have the energy to reason with yourself. It's the same thing with like a toddler when they don't get their naps. You're like, oh my God, kid, just go to sleep. It's because we need that time to re-energize. Another thing is when you don't get a lot of sleep, it lowers your immune system and you're more likely to gain weight because your body isn't able to process your food and it's always working on stress because it's not able to relax sleep also helps your concentration and when you're able to concentrate you're able to be more in the moment you're able to do more things you're able to be more productive which will generalize which will generally overall create happy positive feelings 
and also you're more likely to have positive interactions with others because you're able to be more in the moment and you're able to read the room and you're able to read situations better and then react accordingly which then causes more positive experiences i'm not gonna lie i'm the worst with sleep i'm a night owl and i'm a morning person i love being up early and i love staying up late it's a sick twisted game but i can admit that's a struggle the next thing that a lot of people dismiss is your emotional connections having friends I feel like we're in a time right now where it's cool to like be alone and be a loner and not really have a ton of friends and just like be on our phones but that's one of the reasons why a lot of people are struggling with depression because of the lack of social connection and also these unrealistic expectations from social media and emotionally connecting we're social creatures that's a basic need so when you don't connect with others it subconsciously causes you to feel like you're unlovable or you're unworthy of those emotional connections. Lack of socializing will create these feelings of why doesn't anyone like me? And it'll make you feel like you're not enough because you don't have enough people around. In those happy moments, you feel like you don't really have anyone to share it with. And in, in those negative moments, you maybe feel like you don't have a shoulder to cry on. And it also takes away some form of security because we feel safe and secure when we have support around us. So reach out to people i have a whole video on forming deeper connections with others which i'll leave right here but try to connect with others reach out to others make sure you're having those people that like i said you share those good and those bad times with it's really important i feel like you have supportive people around you because if you're feeling loneliness then that shows that something's wrong there's a difference between alone and loneliness. Alone is when no one's around you and loneliness is when you're not connecting with yourself or you're not connecting with others. So make sure you're reaching out when you have a healthy social life. The next thing is nourishment. So what are you eating? What do you put in your body? Food is thy medicine is a real thing. And it's also the opposite where food can also make you sick because food is chemicals and what we put in our body will affect the chemicals in our brain and also will affect the way our body works. So if you lack the nutrients you need, it's going to be harder for your body to have positive, good feeling hormones like dopamine or serotonin. And also when you feel worse, because when you eat like junk food and stuff, you feel really sluggish and your stomach's bothering you, you don't really feel that good. It's also mentally going to affect you and make you feel bad as well. Because our health is everything. If you don't have your health, then you can't really do much. Also, if you are highly sensitive, certain foods will affect you more. This is partially because you already are someone that's a highly stimulated person. And when you have those stimulating foods, it creates you to be very stimulated. And also when you have these foods with um, ingredients that we shouldn't really be having, because in America we eat things that other countries would never eat, you're going to have more of a negative reaction because you're so sensitive and you can feel things more intensely. So if you're a highly sensitive person and you notice that you've been dealing with some strange illnesses, maybe stomach, maybe you've been, be maybe you've been more fatigued, I would definitely check out your diet because your diet may be causing it. And there are certain foods that can cause depression, like um junk food um food dye foods that are like basically plastic all of those things can cause health issues that can cause skin issues and they can make us feel ugly so make healthier choices i genuinely have not eaten junk food in like 10 years partially because i have health issues where i can't and it would make me feel much worse but also partially because i don't want to put those things in my body. I don't wanna put plastic in my body. Just try to actually make more healthier choices like adding more fruits and vegetables. It doesn't mean you have to completely deprive yourself, but you should want to include foods that can help you so you feel better in your body. And you'll notice like when you stay away from junk food, you'll feel completely differently. A lot of us are used to feeling sluggish and don't realize how much the, these junk foods and this plastic is actually affecting us. But when you get off of it and you start eating healthier, you'll feel a lot better. And also take a multivitamin. Make sure you're getting that nutrients. The next thing is exercise. Sweating a little bit can release some of those toxins and it also creates endorphins. So you feel better, you're more energized and it helps clear your mind. Even going for a little walk, that's still really helpful to clear your mind. We as humans, we're meant to be active creatures, but we've come 
but because we're brilliant and we have created buildings and technology and all those things we become more sedentary so when you become more sedentary you just so happen to feel worse about yourself and you're sitting there and you feel sluggish and your body's not moving so you want to get your your body moving and it'll also help you to have more energy which will help you to live longer because you're moving your body in a healthy way it's also investing some time in yourself so you're caring about your physical health and because you're releasing those positive hormones those endorphins it's more likely to keep you around longer also a lot of people after they exercise they feel like they're on top of the world the next thing is self-awareness which i touch more in my other self-love video but i think it's super important to retouch upon because we need to be aware of what's going on in here because that is the center of everything. Our perception is our reality. So you wanna be aware of your thoughts and your feelings. What are the things that you're telling yourself? What does your self talk sound like? Be aware of when you're having that mean voice and those negative things you're telling yourself and, be a and make sure you're correcting that. Be aware of the stories you tell yourself and challenge them with facts to see, does it really make sense? Is this just a story or is this a reality? Be aware when you're lying to yourself and you're maybe creating delusions to protect yourself from your reality. Be aware when you're comparing yourself too much and you're thinking about everyone else and not enough about yourself. Be aware when you're not having healthy boundaries and you're giving too much of yourself to others. Because when you're aware of yourself and what's going on, you then can attend to your needs and take action based on the issues that you realize you're dealing with. And also make sure that you don't attach yourself to every single thought that you have. So recognize that when you're thinking something, you maybe don't have a choice that it comes up, but you have a choice of entertaining that thought. So understand you can choose what thoughts you do entertain. And the last thing is take care of your body. So obviously we touched, you know, um, the eating part and also the sleep, but I mean, physically take care of your body where you're brushing your teeth. Like I hope that you've been brushing your teeth because you only have one set of teeth and when they're gone, they're gone. It's really hard to eat. And also pictures don't look that cute either. Get a haircut, dress nice, do a little bit of a, a skin routine because you don't want to be looking like your leather when you're 60. I promise you will not feel good about yourself. But this is the action part we talked about. When you take actions and you do these things, you feel good. Because when you look good, you do feel good. As shallow as that sounds, we all shallow. But you really do feel much better about yourself. And you're more likely to take positive actions for yourself and have more positive thoughts when you're taking care of yourself. So pamper yourself. If you have a really hard time doing these self-care things, there may be a belief under there that you maybe feel like you're not worth it or you don't deserve it. Cause that's something I definitely struggled with. Like there was a period of time in my life where I genuinely didn't care about myself enough and I didn't invest energy into myself. Obviously I did some makeup, but like I didn't really care about the clothes I was really wearing. Um, obviously I showered, but I didn't do things like a skin, you know, girls, you know how girls get their nails done and you know, they have this whole skincare routine. Like I wasn't that type of girl. Like I just, I didn't invest enough into myself and that was partially because of guilt. I felt bad and I felt like I was doing something wrong. But over time, like that was because I didn't have enough self-love. And so that's why you want to invest this time into yourself. So you're reminding yourself, I'm worth these things. I matter. I have, I need to take care of myself because I love myself. So what do you guys think? Leave it all in the comments below and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with someone that you think may need it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye guys. I feel like I'm doing Jasmine vibes today. Which, by the way, she was one of my favorite princesses growing up. Jasmine and Esmeralda. I know you don't like Disney. <laughs> the next thing is... So that one goes in the intro again. Just so you remember. Because you always forget in editing, for some reason, stupid brain fog. That's not being very nice to yourself. I'm literally nuts. And, uh... Not Sagittarius. Oh my god. Not Sagittarius. Satisfaction? No, not Satisfaction sedentary or when we have what an empire what do we have what is this